Good morning, everybody. So, today we are going to go a little bit lower energy because I was I woke up today at 3.40 roughly and couldn't sleep and decided that, hey, let's, let's do a power session and make a bunch of videos. And this time it was gonna be tutorial videos. So I made roughly 13 videos before eight o'clock and now I'm on my way to the gym. So this video is gonna be a little bit more low energy than usual, forgive me. But we are going to talk about emotionals. Emotionals, well, emotional, emotional programmers. That's what we're gonna talk about. You have to excuse me, I'm still like, the caffeine pill hasn't really kicked in yet and I'm still a little bit, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Never say I don't care about you, cause trust me, this is like the earliest I've ever gotten up. And well, not the earliest I've ever gotten up, but the earliest I've gotten up to make videos. So let's get into it. Now to, to give you a bit of context, cause I love context and I hope you like context as well. The other day I was talking to my colleague or rather I was just working it was just a regular day and so I'm work we're basically working on this story right and my colleague comes up and says hey Frederick can you have a look at this model that uh, that we we've kind of joined forces on and declared and like everything all the dots uh, all the i's have been dotted and we crossed all the t's and like it's kind of finished and he says hey I would really like to rewrite this thing right and I say okay why do you want to rewrite it? Why, why, why do you want to change the model? And for the seniors out there, you may kind of go, ah, oh, he wants to rewrite the model. And as you may suspect, yes, we've already declared the model. We've worked for roughly a week on all the implementations. Luckily enough, we're in Scala, so it's a type language. So it's feasible that we can change this model without yeah, it is feasible, but as you can imagine, there's a lot of refactoring included in changing this core model. And so he goes, yeah, but let's look at this issue here. And he shows me a nested match case. And the reason why he's showing me that is because we are using a trait system virtually. And at this, in this specific instance, there's two matches that needs to be made first and foremost on the case or uh, case class and on a nested case class inside of said case class and he said i don't really like this could we move like, can we extract this nested case class into uh, to the higher level and just put it on the uh, put it one level up and i said sure we could do that just let me just get the other guys and so the other team members came over and we talked about it and we just, just and we, I basically just asked my colleague okay so what is the value of, of doing this and he said well I think that we should do this it's, it's, it's much nicer and I say oh, yeah I, I agree I, there's really no no downside to it and we kind of nodded a little bit and I said, but wait, like, but wait a minute. So this scenario that you have, this one case, this one place where you're doing this nested matching that you don't like, that it's a, li it's a little bit ugly. I agree, I don't like it either, but let's weigh that against what you're suggesting. And he says, what, what do you mean? Well. I have been working on my story for about three days. My co other colleague has also been working, or three people right now working on that story. He's been working for two days on another story. There's a bunch of committed code. Some code is still not added to the master branch, which means that we still kind of, we're gonna have merge conflicts to begin with. And when you, sh when you change the model, all of our unit tests, all of our integration tests, all the services, everything needs to be refactored. And the work will, that work will roughly take a day or two to finish. 
and you can see on his face how it kind of goes it goes from s s a subtle confidence a subtle hope that he will get his way to uh, pain he see you see pain on his face and he kind of goes <sighs> And you see the internal struggle, I, and I, sh I can so relate to it. I see it in his eyes because he really wants this refactor because the code here he's, that he's forced to write is ugly. But he also knows that if he changes it, there's going to be so much work. And finally he gives up and he says, yeah, all right, it's not worth it. And we kind of laugh about it and we move on. And this is a lesson to you juniors out there always weigh the cost of a refactor against the value of the result. We're talking about him wanting to change the core model in one place that will cascade and cause a lot of issues and a lot of work for us just so that he can write a single function that will look a little bit nicer. Remember that next time you say, hey, let's refactor this. Think one step ahead. Have a great day.